Hello, friends and family of YouTube. I have a Microlite 29 RKSW. Man, this thing is fresher than a Krispy Kreme donut. I am telling you what, it just come off the assembly line here recently. And this is the first time I've got to see one of these, so I'm going to show it to you today. Now, I'll tell you what's really cool about it. Man, this thing has a huge kitchen. So if you like a big kitchen, you're going to dig this one. So I'll tell you what, we're going to start off outside looking at it around the outer side. And then I'll take you inside and uh, show you that big kitchen I've been bragging about. So let's check it out. All right, well, I'm going to start back here in the back. And I'm not able to get back there where I'd like to to get a back shot of it. But anyway... Uh, this one does have it pre-wired for a uh, backup camera. You do have a ladder on here and you've got your spare tire back here in the back. Got a outside shower back here and you've also got your water connections back here as well on the back side where I'd like to be and show you that a little better. And right here is where you fill up your fresh water tank. And you've also got your, um, this is where your uh, 50 amp hookup is at. So this one is rated for 50 amp hookup. And right here is your gray tank connection where you can dump out your gray tank. And uh, you can see that this thing has a huge slide on it. And it does have a slide cover as well. Good of that is it helps keep your seals in good order and will make this thing last many more years. So, uh, hey, if y'all are new to watching my channel, I do not work for the company that makes these or sell these. So, hey, I'm just giving you this from my standpoint. I don't care if you buy one or not. I'm just here to hopefully help you find the perfect RV for you. There is no such thing as a perfect RV, but hopefully I can help you find the perfect one for you and your family. All right, so right here is the other uh, tank uh, connection where you can dump it out. And you will see there's also a small slide here. And uh, that will make a little better sense once we get inside and check it out from the inside. But I do want to show you Man, look at that huge pass-through storage. You could definitely take those fold-up tables. They will easily fit in here. You could probably put a canoe in there. Plenty of room. And this does have electric corner jacks on it. You got four of them all the way around. And you've also got enough room for two batteries up here on the front. Got two propane tanks. Got you a uh, uh, electric tongue jack on here as well. Also hook up for a solar connection right there so you can keep your batteries topped off. And it says that that is rated for up to 20 amps of solar. All right. And also out here, you've got, a, you've got an awning on here and uh, got two speakers. And there's also a separate awning out here as well for your small little kitchen area. Now, I wish that I did have a little more room to show you this a little bit better, but I'm still going to show it to you. Anyway, this little uh, system here, you got your two burner, and you've also got your little bit of counter space, and you got your small refrigerator. I apologize for the wind noise, but hey, it's time for us to go inside anyway, so that worked out good. All right, let's go inside this three-step entry and see what we got going on inside of this 29 RKSW, and we are at Northgate RV over in uh, Ringgold, Georgia, right outside Chattanooga. And as I told you, I said, man, we got a beautiful kitchen. So that's what I'm going to show you first. So right as we come through this door here, that door splits this camper right in half. So we're going to start here in the kitchen area. But we're going to start with the TV. It's right here beside the, uh, right beside the doorway. So you do have a good angle from this TV from many locations to watch it. And I'll show you a little bit more of that here in just a moment. But right below that TV, look at that. You've got a uh, USB port on there where you can plug your phone up to it or whatever you need to and be able to play anything through the stereo system or through the TV. You've also got a little bit of storage in here as well. That goes back about 20 inches. And you've also got a fireplace. It's a faux fireplace, but it is one nonetheless. And right up here on the countertop, you've got an area where you can plug in a couple of kitchen uh, appliances right there with your 110 outlets. And let me show you this cabinetry above. 
a good sized cabinet right there and the reason why they did not put any cabinets right here that's where your outside kitchen setup is at that I showed you just a minute ago and right here you got a good size oven and you got a three three uh, burner top on here as well and you've also got a microwave to show you inside of it it's just a standard with a rotating glass dish inside there and also you got plenty of storage over here as well and you got some right over the sink matter of fact let me show you that sink and you got it to where you can move this around do whatever you need to with it and there you go you got your two bowl stainless steel I like the little black backsplash that they set up there that's kind of nice looking little stainless steel blocks pretty sweet and right below the uh, sink you've got a couple of drawers in here that you can put some uh, gas propane hoses or you could put you some uh, some of your cutlery in here as well also got a little sponge sponge container and let me show you the inside the refrigerator freezer combo you can take these little uh, cabinet spaces here and you can move those up and down so it kind of give you a variety of uh, ways that you can lay that out and it gave you two crisper drawers down there below as well this is Dometic it is made in America and you've got you a little freezer area here that definitely can hold you quite a few TV dinners frozen pizzas all that good stuff got you a little bit of storage here for a pantry type use and yeah all right and beside that we're gonna have a dinette and the cool of that dinette is look how much room is around there you're not really cramped but I'm gonna talk about this here in a minute that they really could have made a great change to this layout by reducing the size of this dinette area so uh, I'll talk about that here in just a minute I like to try to tell you the good and bad whenever I see it so uh, anyway, that is storage where you can hide, uh, hide your good fun stuff from your kids or your kids can hide it from you in there. And this uh, couch right here will fold out like into a small bed and you got one right here that will do the same thing. Got a little bit of storage over each one of them as well. All right, so uh, man, I've got my jump box hooked up and it's telling me that it's 80 degrees in here. So there's your comfort zone where you can set your HVAC to do whatever you need it to do to make you happy and you've also got your control center right here and this is right as you come in through the main doorway so uh, anyway let's go check out the bedroom system here all right so as you go into the bedroom I need to turn the light on in here if I can find the switch there we go and right beside the bedroom you've got got a drawer you can pull out here let's see what's going on under this bed Yep, the bed will lift up. You've got some storage down there. You've also got a couple of drawers that will pull out right here, and that way it'll give you somewhere to put maybe some socks or whatever you might need or want to put in there. And you've got USB ports back there. you got 110 outlets. And look at all that storage you got over your bed. And, man, check this out. you got your own HVAC unit in the bedroom. Man, I love to see that that is a good move right there anytime you see 50 amp hookup that generally means you're gonna have two air conditioners and you're gonna be glad you did especially if you were here in the south so anyway you've got a area in here where you can do like a his and hers you've got plenty of storage in there and plenty of storage in here as well now we'll point this out this is on a small slide when we were outside and I showed you that small slide that system right there is on that small slide if it was slid into the bed area you could not open those doors had the company made those doors up six inches shorter you would be able to open those doors at any given time so to me that would be something that they should look into doing because it would make it a lot more functional all right now to get into the bathroom you've got two different ways you can do it I'm in the bedroom. Oh, and I forgot to mention right here is a TV backer. That's where you can put your TV. And as you're laying in bed, you got a good viewpoint of it. Now, right here, I'm looking straight into the bathroom from the bedroom. So you can walk straight into there. And the good of that is, is you've got your shower right here. And uh, let's see, 
How you doing for uh, room space there, Bert? That's pretty good. All that's right. Pretty good. I can watch. How about your elbow room? Can you bang him around pretty good? Got plenty of leg room. Leg room? Leg room, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you can wash your hands while you're sitting on the toilet, can you not? Yeah. That's pretty. Wash and wipe. Never know. <laughs> Never know when that might come in handy. Huh? <laughs> All right, you got a little cabinet there above the uh, sink. It's probably probably about three inches deep where you can put you some toothbrushes or shaving cream or whatever you need to in there. And you can look in that mirror right there and see how how ugly you are if you if you like birds. Right, so uh, right. and over the uh, over the shower, I forgot to mention it, but you got a little head space area where you can get up in there and stand up and have plenty of room to wash your head. And they also did put air conditioning vents inside the uh, bathroom. And I am now seeing one for the heater system. That's what that one vent right there is for. So that to help keep your bathroom a little warm. And as long as you keep this door, this door slides back and forth. As long as you keep that door slid, that will help keep your bedroom warmer too. All right, so let me show you a little bit of the layout of the land. So if I get all the way to the front i've got my back to the front of the camper and i am facing the rear and now i'm going to walk towards the rear and show you the layout of the land so man i tell you what verge gets around don't he look there i didn't even press stop he made it from the toilet to the kitchen that quick <laughs> you can tell he he spent a lot of time <laughs> in the kitchen <laughs> just like me <laughs> so uh anyway show you that layout and i don't think i really talked about it enough but look at that countertop space i think that's gonna sell anybody that does a lot of cooking definitely is gonna love that so anyway let me show you the layout going back towards this is now we've got our back all the way at the back of the camper facing towards the front so you can see that there is plenty of room in here and all right so now i want to talk about what i do not like about this particular unit all right, so if you had this slide, all of this area that Birch is sitting in here is a slide, even with the dinette there. If all of that was slid in, it would block your refrigerator and freezer. You could get to anything and everything else, but the reason I don't like that is if you wanted to just pull over, make you a sandwich on the side of the road, you would have to put your slide out to get to your refrigerator freezer. Now, one suggestion I have for the manufacturer that they don't care what my, my suggestion is, but I'm going to throw it out there anyway. If this slide would have been shorter by a foot and a half, you could have shortened it all the way across here. You still would have had plenty of room here because me and Bird sat at this dinette. There's really more room than you'll ever need. So if they would have shortened that by a foot and a half, you would still be able to get to this refrigerator freezer, if that slide was in the closed position, you would still be able to get to anything and everything in this kitchen. It would be fully functional with the slide in or the slide out. And here is the uh, current price they're showing on this particular one. And you can see that the dry weight is right at 7,500. Uh, let's see, the MSRP on this is about 46. And you can see that it's selling for $32.5. And uh, I did not mention it while I was outside, and I don't believe I mentioned it on the others, but I do believe that they are still putting Asdell on these micro lights. So uh, that's something I'm going to have to look up. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show you this while I saw it here on the, on the counter. Whew. Well, I'm trying out the couch now, and it's not bad at all. <laughs> well, uh, if y'all have, uh, if this is the first time y'all have watched my channel, like I said before, I don't work for the company that makes them or sell them. So I just like to show you these things as I see them myself and help you shop for one while you're at work goofing off or whatever. You can shop my channel and uh, see all of what's out there in the RV industry. So uh, I've also got a channel where I show my travels and some of my vlog stuff and me just plain out goofing off for that matter. That channel is called Dave and Muppy and I've got a link down in the description below if you want to check that out. Hey, I'd appreciate it. So uh, hey, if y'all would leave me some comments as well, let me know what you liked about this particular one or what you'd like to see different or more of. And uh, 
I'll have plenty more footage coming for you soon. Man, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. Thanks a lot, folks. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.